In this episode of Comic Book Savant, we'll talk about InStockTrades.com, how the site works, and we actually unbox a order from InStockTrades.com on this episode of Comic Book Savant. Welcome back to Comic Book Savant. I'm your host, James Harris. As I stated earlier, this episode is all about InStockTrades.com. If you're unfamiliar with the service, it's an online um, retailer that um, specifically deals with collected editions as far as trade paperbacks, um, Absolute Editions, Marvel Masterworks, anything that's like a bound edition that you're going to um, go out and buy. It's a service that's been around for quite a while. I've personally used, I've used this service since um, early 2006. Now this, this actual episode, I want to let this be known up front, is in cooperation with InStockTrades.com. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it was sponsored because I came up with the idea and I kind of reached out to them and actually going to be giving away the comics. Uh, they allowed me to place an order just to show and explain how the site itself works. Um, they are a longtime sponsor of the actual audio podcast portion of Comic Book Savant. And I just had an idea because I don't see, see too many videos about how in stock trades works. And, you know, so many different people are sponsored by um, them as well as their um, parent company, which is Discount Comic Book Services, which I'll be doing a companion video to that as well. Um, and the next month or so, I placed the order waiting for that for me to get those books. And I'll do a similar video to this where I'll talk about the service, actually show the process of placing an order. And because it's a little bit more complicated than what you deal with, with in stock trades, it's way more straightforward. Great thing about InStockTrades.com is that you have discounts ranging from 35, 42, and up to 50 uh, percent off. They normally list. Um, <coughs> their deals the week. They update that on a weekly basis and they have um, highlighted titles that are 50% off and they have numerous other different sales too that you can get a bigger discount on. So you just have to check the site on a weekly basis when you're looking to order stuff to see what good deals they, they have around. At the time that I placed this specific order that I got, they had um, an additional percentage off on um, image books. So normally like independent titles are normally like um, like 35 or 25 percent off so they'll bump it up so they'll be around that 42 percent range so it'll help you save a little bit more the bigger retail you know the bigger companies publishers like image well well no well image just kind of still falls under independent but mainly marvel and dc they are those are the books that you're normally going to see at 42 percent off and are highlighted at 50 percent off but you do see some image titles there as well so, so they have a good mix so Let's get into unboxing this particular order. And what was cool about it, I didn't do anything extravagant. I trust the unboxing knife, don't be scared. Um, when I came up with the idea for this, I did a search just on YouTube for, you know, looking for discount comic book services and InStockTrades.com. And I didn't see many, um, I saw a lot of unboxing videos, but not too much talking about the service and, and how, how it works. So that's why I said where I kind of feel like it's really not more one of those um, sponsored videos because I'm not pitching it. It's a service I believe in. And I actually went to them. They didn't come up with this idea. I went to them, pitched it like, hey, let me um, show the process of placing an order. The um, the owner, Cameron, is, you know, he's been a long time, uh, again, supporter and sponsor for my audio um, podcast. And I told him I'm reaching out doing um, YouTube, doing some different things. And I just want to show people how to use the service because it doesn't seem by with the videos I saw, people do much explaining on how the actual service works. <clears throat> but it's really intuitive and it's gotten better since when I first used the service back in 2006, just because web technology has changed so much and it's great. They let you know while you're placing the order and you might see B-roll while I'm talking right now, so you might not actually be seeing my face when I talk about some of this stuff. Um, I will try to put up um, just a, um, a screen capture of showing how the um, interface works on the website, but it's really intuitive as far as letting you know, it lets you know when you hit the um, $50 threshold. Now, the one thing about 
Um, if you place an order that's $50 or more for US based customers, they get free shipping. Now, if you're outside of the US, you don't get that benefit. You still get all the savings, save a ton of money. They do have competitive international shipping rates, so they're very reasonable. And that's one thing I saw confirmed. Um, it was a YouTuber. I'm going to try to find the video, and you should see it right up here. Um, where he actually placed the order. This was one of the better orders that I saw that he, I can't remember, and he was through in stock trade specifically or DCBS, but he talks about, um, I think he was in the Netherlands and he talks about how reasonable and how cheaper using a service like this as an international um, customer would be, which I thought was very useful. Um, so I'm going to link that. In the description box down below and again like i stated you will see a, you should see a little annotation up here linking to his video his name escapes me but it was one of the videos i saw that but i actually felt like that was really informative talking about the service when it comes to as far as the international side but if you're based in the u.s is awesome it hit it lets you know when you hit that 50 dollars thresh that threshold that you're gonna get that free shipping um so you're covered on that and like literally i placed this order um, a, maybe eight days ago, I want to say, if even that, I think it was like eight days ago, I got it, um, I got it over the weekend, I'm shooting this video on a, um, on a Monday, I got it like Saturday, um, so can't complain on that, it, it's relatively quick turnaround, and again, it's, it's free, um, I want to say it was free UPS ship. It was UPS um, shipped. So I actually ended up getting it on um, Saturday, which was early because um, I think they said I was going to get it today, but I actually got it a little bit earlier. So you have, you know, these things securing the top of the box so your books are safe, which is awesome. And you have another one so you can see right here that they had that covering protecting your books and then they put them in a a big plastic baggie sealed sealed up got a board in there to help protect the spines you have your invoice here and if you see further in the box um, it actually has a cushion that the book set down in, so the books are very, very secure. It wasn't a huge order. Um, I only asked Cameron for about, you know, 50 bucks, because I feel like um, most people are not going to spend, you know, a ton unless it's a birthday or something like that. So I thought $50 was a reasonable amount to just demonstrate the service and what you can get for that amount of money. Because we all have other things we do. We're parents. Some of us are parents, um, grandparents in my case. Uh, so money sometimes can be tight. So I thought that was a reasonable order. So in total, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven trades. It came to a grand total of $53.84. You can't beat that. So first thing I picked up was Batman Earth One. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I figured I would read that, do a review, then do a giveaway for it. Um, I've always wanted to check out Aftershock Comics because a lot of my, my friend, Ed Moore, which is also a podcaster, which I'll have links down to his podcast in the description box below. He's been a long time listener of the podcast. Um, I've always um, trusted his recommendations. He told me Aftershock Comics was really good. Um, he recommended this one book, uh, Animosity, to me, so I got the first volume of, of that as well. Ah, I was unable to go get um, Superman issue 1000 or Action Comics 1000. They actually had that because it's a, it was a thicker um, edition. It was, what, like eight bucks or whatever. They actually had that. We could pick it up on um, in stock trades. Dot com, which I thought that was really cool because I don't buy physical comics and I wasn't paying any books uh, <laughs> um, for the digital version of it. I might, if it's really good, I wanted to check it out, so I figured I would grab it 
And again, more than likely this will be given away as well because I don't keep any physical comics. You know, I have very few. Um, next, Future Quest by DC. Um, the old Hanna-Barbera cartoons, they had brought them back. Um, I thought this was a really cool concept. I think I bought the first two issues digitally. I wanted to at least finish the first the first story arc. I liked what I read, but they were like five bucks an issue. And again, I'm on a budget. I'm a grandpa. Uh, yeah, I just can't for certain books. So I figured this was a good opportunity to finish this trade. I really liked what I read, but I didn't like five dollars an issue that much, you know, on a budget. As my wife likes to tell me, I like to ball on a budget. This is a perfect example. So I figured I'd pick this up. Again, this will be something that when I'm done, it'll be given away. I'll be doing a giveaway on all this. Um, this is one book that I really dug that I did. I read the first two issues and reviewed them um, previously on the audio podcast. It's um, This is a, a Ascend. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Ascend. Um, Sci-fi thriller by Image Comics. So like I said, I really enjoyed the first two issues. I think this is um this is by Shane Davis, um, Michelle Delecki, and Maury Har um, uh, Hollowell, which I, I've met him. He's a great, great, great um, colorist. He's done a lot of work with a lot of big stuff. He um, did work on Civil War. Uh, work, he works. He worked a lot with Steve McNiven. Um, got to meet him in person. Really cool dude. So um, Shane Davis, uh, you know, I've always liked his artwork. This is his creator-owned deal. Really like this. I like the first two issues. I think it. This was only went five issues, and he hasn't done any more. Like I said I thoroughly enjoyed it. What I did read of it. So I want to finish. I wanted to at least finish this out. And again, this is be something I'll be giving away at a later time. Um, next is Phonogram. I'm a huge fan of Karen Gillian. I've never read his Phonogram series. This was on sale for like, I think $4.99. I'll go over the invoice in a second. Um, this is the, I think the most recent volume of a Phonogram is called um, The Immaterial Girl. I, I don't know if this is based off the old Madonna album or not a song. I wanted to check it out because I love uh, Karrion Gillian's Marvel work, all his stuff like Star Wars and Darth Vader and things of that nature. So I wanted to give it a try. Figured I would, what better chance to get it, you know, cheap and check it out. And I'm such a fan of his other work. So I wanted to extend out. I just recently did, um, a creator spotlight on Karen Gillian and I always talk about that where I like to do a thing where if I like a certain writer or artist work one place to expand my horizons and to go outside of where they've done other work and try it out so that's where I came up with the idea for picking this up and giving it a try Last but not least, I'm a huge fan of Jason Aaron, so I wanted to try Southern Bastards. Um, I I liked his um, all his Marvel work. I actually liked his Vertigo work, um, Scout. I did a review a long time ago. I'll put a link to the audio podcast that I did uh, talking about the first volume of Scout. Really liked it. Huge fan of all the stuff Jason Aaron has done over at Marvel. So I wanted to check this out because if there's anything like Scout, but like in the South, that was on an Indian reservation. This one's a little bit different. I was like, hey, what the hey, I'll give it a try. See if I like it. But I don't dislike much that I ever read of Jason Aaron. So I'm, I will be shocked if I dislike it. But I'll have a link down to the things that I'm referencing in the in the description box below for you to check out some of the, the audio podcasts I've done talking about some of this stuff. All, so you got seven solid books for just over 50 bucks and you got free shipping. Can't really beat that. Again, um, if you haven't already, check out InStockTrades.com. I'll have links to the site in the description box below. It's a very great service. I've personally used them since 2006. Um, again, I'm more digital now, but I still believe in the service because I used it for a number. I think I converted over to digital 
um, around 2012, 2013. So I had an extensive use and it was separate from, you know, them supporting my audio podcast. I still was a paying customer that whole time. The what, you know, they sponsored with the podcast went to the podcast. So I wanted to make that clear. But these books all will be given away as soon as I do reviews on them. I'll be doing random giveaways in the weeks and months to come, giving away all the books that I got here. Um, and, and again, I'm going to be doing a similar uh, giveaway with the order that I placed from uh, Discount Comic Book Services. That stuff will be coming in the future. You'll see those episodes to come. But that's all I have for you for this episode of Comic Book Savant. You guys have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Take care.